And they're watching us right now. Every move we make is being recorded. There's no hiding. Curiosity is curated and cataloged. Preferences, auction for profits. Smart devices have us under constant surveillance, recording our every move, every conversation. We've invited machine learning assistants into our homes and teach them the intimate details of our lives. We hemorrhage our likes, pains, and biases to virtual friends and foes for a quick hit of digital dopamine. And now, the push for a cashless society is here. All our financial affairs tracked and fully accounted for. The death of privacy by a thousand clicks. So what makes money, money? According to economists, money has three basic functions. One, it's a medium of exchange. It's a lot easier to use money in a transaction than say bartering. Two, it's a standard of value. It allows us a standard means to measure and compare the value of goods and services. And three, it's a store of value, meaning it holds its value over time. Now that's where our current money system fails and inflation is the proof. As you can see, privacy is not a defined function of money because until very recently, we all had the choice to conduct our financial transactions in a public or private way, cold hard cash being the vehicle for the latter. But it seems our choices for keeping our private financial affairs private are becoming increasingly limited. In an effort to expedite the birth of a cashless society, financial institutions have enacted all kinds of technology and social programming aimed at making cash and the privacy it affords obsolete. However, modern freedom fighters armed with laptops and computer code have mounted a resistance in the form of a cryptocurrency, a decentralized network running autonomously, answering to no masters, and unlike today's currency, this one possesses all three functions of a sound money system. In 2014, Bitcoin talk community leader Johnny Nomadic led a less than hostile takeover of an abandoned Bitcoin project. The result was Monero. Unlike most altcoins, Monero is not based on Satoshi Nakamoto's Bitcoin code. It's based on the CryptoKnight proof of work algorithm which gives this digital currency its unprecedented level of privacy. Monero combines three pieces of blockchain technology to completely privatize transactions. First is something called ring signatures. When Monero transactions are sent, randomized addresses are mixed in with the actual sender's address. This makes it virtually impossible for any prying parties to determine the real sender's address with 100% certainty. Second, Receiving addresses for Monero transactions are only used one time. This stealth address ensures the Monero user's transactions cannot be tracked. Last, there's Ring CT. The CT stands for Confidential Transaction. It's a zero-knowledge technology that gives miners enough information to verify each transaction balances, but encrypts the transaction amounts. When it comes to Monero, we're talking Apex cryptography. So it may come as a surprise the Monero project doesn't have a well-funded foundation or high-profile corporation behind it. It's an open-source project with full transparency. To keep it on track, the core team consists of seven high-level developers led by Ricardo Spagni, who goes by the handle Fluffy Pony. When things like infrastructure, marketing, and other expenses come up, Monero created the forum funding system. It's like Monero's personal Kickstarter. Projects are submitted to the community, and if approved, the community crowdfunds the project. One of Monero's biggest challenges is the war against miner centralization. Huge mining operations all over the world are using application-specific integrated circuits, or ASICs for short, to outperform smaller miners competing to verify transactions. In an illustration of poetic irony, hash power, the commodity that fuels decentralization, becomes concentrated and centralized. 
Recently, Monero upgraded its protocol with Bulletproofs, a technology that increases privacy and efficiency, reducing transaction sizes and fees by more than 80%, a huge step in Monero's journey to reach critical mass. Support from artists like G-Eazy, Mariah Carey, Motorhead, and more, who now let fans buy their music with XMR, shouldn't hurt either. The days of privacy have been eclipsed by the dawning of the digital age. Anonymity is extinct. Like it or not, your personal business is now big business. So now the only thing left to do is adapt. Those who can't will be obsolete and disconnected. Is this progress? Your guess is as good as mine.